Good evening, this is Scott Sackett. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, if you enjoy this video, please take a second to subscribe to the video. Um, I am currently doing a series of drawing lessons over this book, How to Rock Comics the Marvel Way. I am doing a lesson and then I'm doing uh, what I'm calling a homework session. So the, 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 the quick setup of this is I love this book. I feel like this book is something that um, will prepare you, will teach you a lot about drawing comics. Let me put it that way. Um, I don't know if it'll get you a job in the industry. That depends on a lot of things besides skill. But I think if you learn the lessons that are presented in this book, then then you go a long way towards having the skills you would need to, to uh, work in the industry. Now, I will say this. This book is dated. It was written in the 70s. Um, the examples are, uh, I would call them older style comic stuff, but, um, I feel like one area that, the, that the book is really, uh, pales or really, uh, doesn't compare to modern drawing books is there's not a lot of examples in here. There's not a, it, it shows, it, I mean, there's a lot of examples, there's not a lot of exercises. And so what I, what I've done is I'm going to go through, um, I'm going through this chapter by chapter. Um, may not give a whole session to certain chapters, but I'm, I'm breaking it down and I'm currently doing, this will be the homework for lesson number two. Now, lesson number two was on perspective. And if you haven't watched that video before you watch this, please go back and watch that video. I noticed on lesson one, more people watch the homework lesson than the uh, lesson lesson. I'm going to assume that several people watched it multiple times, but be that as it may, watch the lesson before you watch this. Uh, I'm going to try and keep all these videos short, about 15 minutes. Now, what I want to do, the lesson was on perspective. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to draw something in perspective. I'm going to go through it real quick um, and and give you a little bit of a breakdown to, so that, to kind of help you and show you um, how, uh, how this will be done. Give you an example of what I talked about. So, um, for reference, I'm going to draw a convenience store. Now, this is my reference photo. This is an old convenience store, um, you towed them. I don't believe they're around anymore. Now I'm not going to duplicate this picture, but what I want is I want to, I want this picture to be a, a reference for details that I may not see. And I don't know how much detail I'm going to be able to put in this picture, but I'm going to put this over here to the side. So when you're drawing in perspective, the first thing you need to do is you want to, you want to do a horizon line. So, I, and I want, if you look at this picture, just the horizon line is right about here in the picture. I think you can see that. And the reason I tell is I'm looking at this, that that line kind of goes there, and that one goes there. So it's, it'd be kind of somewhere in the middle, because this is above the horizon line, because it goes down, as I talked about last episode, and this one goes up. So the horizon line would be somewhere about there. So I'm going to put the horizon line... I'm going to change the picture up a little bit, but I'm going to put the horizon line in roughly the same place on my image, or I'm going to try to, which is basically right through the front doors, which is a reasonable place. Uh, so let me get let me get started. So, okay, that's my horizon line. So I want to draw it. This is fairly straight on. I want it more of an angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one vanishing point over here, and I'll put, uh, just for the sake of space, I'll put one about here. Let's see, are those both on the camera? Yeah, they're both on the camera. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, and you can do it this way, you can do it other I'm going to draw a few series of lines just to guide myself. And I'm and these are no particular, and, and I'm just going from here out. Okay, so, so these would be like the front of the store. I'm going to put the store where it's facing this way. So these would be the front of the store. And you can see I'm I'm already got more of an angle, or I'm gonna, uh, yeah, or at least uh, more of an angle than the one in the picture. In the picture, the vanishing points are way off the thing, and that's how you get that flatter look. Mine is more like you're looking at the corner of the building than the than the photo. So let me get, and I, again, I, these are in no. In fact, I probably won't use all these. I'm gonna do the same way to the other side. So I'm gonna. And this is just to kind of, and I don't know how far I'm going to get on this. I don't want this to be too long, but I just want to show you how to get started so that uh, you can do this on your own. At least you'll, you'll have like a, uh, you'll, uh, kind of a method. Let me put it that way. Now this is, I'm, I, the, I'm drawing this big, but the store is going to be small. So 
So if you, I was drawing this, first thing I would do is I'd figure out where do I want my corner to be. And like I said, I'm gonna draw it kind of tilted more like this. The one the picture was like this. I want it tilted more like this. So I'm gonna put my picture or my, my let me do let me do a couple more lines. Uh, I'm gonna do some vertical lines now. This is a two-point perspective, so all of the vertical lines, that is the straight up and down lines, would be um, straight, just like this. In fact, I'm going to go through and uh, just knock a couple out real quick so that you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Put one down here, and uh, let me flip that over. And so far, everything's fairly loose and, and quick. And uh, that's, that's good. That's what we kind of want at this point. I'll put one more in here, even though we won't go that far back. So, so just looking at this, you can already kind of see maybe how the building is shaping up. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make this my corner. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna darken this line up. So this is gonna be my corner. So, so this is going to be the side of the, the side. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me do something before I get too far. Let me kind of lighten these up a little bit so you can see my lines on top of them. Oops. I'm just going to go over them with a, with a uh, kneaded eraser real quick. That'll probably help you see the line, the new lines I'm drawing. Uh, and if I were drawing this in a, in a comic book, I would probably use like an H or maybe a 2H for the guidelines or draw them a lot lighter, but I want you to be able to see them. So this line is gonna go back. Now this is the, like the side of the building. And so I'm gonna, just gonna make this the side of the building uh, of the U-totem. So if you've ever been behind a U-totem, usually there's an alley and a fence. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put We'll put that line there. That'll be the the back fence behind the alley. And maybe if I was drawing this, uh, maybe if I wanted to, like over here, I might put a couple dumpsters. And, you, and some of this stuff you can freehand, certainly. Now, this one, because my vanishing point is there, this one is actually turned into a one-point perspective because you won't see that. I'll put I'll put the, the lid there. And then maybe maybe there's two dumpsters there. Again, these are these are pretty loose. So, uh, okay, so this is the side. Maybe on the side, we'll draw like an air conditioner maybe or some kind of mechanical uh, thing here. It's kind of, a, I don't know, just some, some box sticking off the side. Maybe it's an alarm box or something. So we'll draw that. And you kind of, and again, I'm going to my vanishing point on everything on this side. Everything on this side goes to this vanishing point. I'll put that there. I'm kind of cheating on this. And maybe, I remember when I was a kid, the 7-Eleven uh, had a, a door right there. So maybe we'll put a door. And I'm kind of eyeballing my height there. We got a door. And if you want to figure out, like, you, you can draw, if you draw an X like that across in perspective, that's kind of the center. Maybe the door's got a, a knob on it and then like a deadbolt. And if you want to put bricks in this, they would all go to this side, so you, you kind of maybe put a couple. Uh, this is going to be quick. I'm not watching my time. Anyway, so you know, so so something like that. Okay, so then, so that's basically the side. Here we have our fence. You got the, you know. So that's that's basically the side of our U totem. So uh, looking at the picture, it's got a it's got a a a, 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 a roof that kind of cantilevers out. So we'll kind of draw that, and I'll I'll just and I remember from my youth that all these convenience stores had a had a, a little roof that stuck out over the sidewalk. So we'll put that on there. And I'm just kind of guessing at the the length. And this this picture is surprisingly long. Um, 
but there I'll put that there and then and then th if you take this and you go to this vanishing point from right here kind of go here and then from that line you go to this vanishing point that gives you where that roof line finishes so it finishes right there okay so so we'll put that there um, so this line should come down I'll draw a little light and so this line is is the uh, the base of the wall so it kind of comes up and these two would intersect right here so you can see it's already starting to kind of look like a convenience store so uh, we'll put a this line is where the roof comes out usually there's a sidewalk that comes out to the roof so we'll put a sidewalk there and we'll go out to here and I don't know if you want to put the sidewalk up to here you know, it's got a little bit of a lip there. Again, this is going to that far vanishing point. Oop, got off a little bit. And then this should go back to that. I got out of whack a little bit here. Uh, okay, so, so we, and then normally there's a sign of some kind at the top. Uh, that usually like they'll put a banner up or, and it might be like uh, whatever's on sale so uh, so looking at this picture it appears like there's a row of windows and and then there's a there's a uh, there's a wall usually here and then when I was a kid can't see it in the picture but usually on the corner there was a phone booth now it would you know and again you know the box not a phone booth but a payphone mounted to the wall I'm kind of eyeballing this obviously and again everything that's under the line goes up to the point everything above it goes down so we're kind of looking it's it's straight in our point there I kind of put a little squiggle usually there's a sign and the sign would go to that vanishing point, and, you know, and uh, actually it would be like this. Both of them would go to the vanishing point. So uh, here's a, usually there's a window, and then there was a door, or a double door. And I'm buzzing through this, obviously. Oops. You know, and... You'd have a window frame, and then maybe this window has a frame. Then over here, usually there's like one of those big uh, ice machines, or not an ice machine, but a freezer they put bagged ice in. You know, maybe there's a sign that said ice right there. Sometimes they were angled, but usually outside they were flat. And so that's kind of, uh, what I would do if, and then maybe if you wanted to, you could put a, um, if you want to put a sign, there's a sign in the parking lot in this one, but, but say if you want to put a sign like right here, sometimes I had them off to the side or maybe, maybe it would be up here and it would, it, and it would go to this vanishing point. Maybe it'd come off the corner. When I was a kid, the 7-Eleven tell had this. And maybe the sign says, you know, you toad. Uh, I don't want to spell you totem, but anyway, and that's your sign there. Um, and so that's kind of, you know, you can dress it up a little bit with, um, you know, crack uh, divisions in the sidewalk. You kind of eyeball that. Or if you wanted to, if you were real, um, if you wanted to figure out where everything went, you could do that by, um, say if you wanted to put uh, like lines going this way and this to show like panels, you would what you would do is um, you would draw a diagonal line across here. It's it's a little narrow to do it. I won't I won't do the whole thing, but you draw a diagonal line across there, and then you would put the you would put the oh you put uh, lines uh, evenly. That's right, evenly like here. You'd have to measure it out. So maybe like every quarter inch, and then you would put those in perspective. Okay, I'm not doing this very well. You probably can't see it. And then where this diagonal line from corner to corner crossed, that would be where those sections came out. 
it's 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 a little hard to explain i didn't leave enough room for it uh the book talks about it in here you can see it let me see if i can find that page real quick and i'll show you where that's at i think it was in this book yeah it was in this book uh, oh okay so on page 37 it goes through that about breaking that down you do you do your perspective lines and you do a diagonal line and then when you go where that diagonal line crosses that's where you put your line going the other way and that would give you these divisions if you want the divisions on here to, to look like they were actually going back in perspective anyway okay i hope that's helpful to you um i would encourage you to draw something like this and uh, if you have any questions or comments let me know uh, below again if you enjoy this please subscribe or leave a comment let me know what you think about it i'm sorry that my video content has been a little sporadic lately um if you're a regular viewer or, or we know each other you may know that my father passed away a few weeks ago and so i spent a little bit more time with my family um so anyway so that's kind of uh cut into my videos but that's okay family is important but Anyway, thank you very much for join, joining me. Uh, I'll do, uh, I will do lesson number three. Lesson three gets into the figure. We talk about the figure. That I don't know how much of that I'm going to be able to cover in 15 minutes, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. And uh, again, I'm Scott Sackett. If you enjoy this, please subscribe. Thank you.